for all of our advanced students. What we're going to do today is we're going to be working on your guys' forms and a lot of your basics, especially your kicking, um, and then the, probably going to go over all four lines of Shimson 5 to where you guys can get a good preview here. One thing I do want to invite everybody here to do is at 5.45 every Tuesday and Thursday we are doing live classes. Please come join us for live classes, that way we can see you guys face to face and we can really um, interact with you guys and help you guys continue your journey in Taekwondo with us. Again, that's 5.45 every Tuesday and Thursday. We would love to see everyone there. Before we get started, we are going to get about in. So go to Chariot. Kunye. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over kicks in your guys' form. First kick that we're going to talk about will be in the first line of the form. So we're going to talk about your guys' um, setup for the front kick and the side kick. We're giving you guys some details that you guys can draw at home and hopefully improve on these kicks, okay? So you guys are first going to start with your kicking leg back. We're going to use our left leg first. Okay, we're going to think about where our knee's at. We're also going to think about what our base leg's doing while we're doing these kicks. So you guys are going to pull up and lift up for a front kick, and you're going to chamber. Okay, now all we're going to work on right now is the beginning position of the kicks. When you, chain, when you go from front kick to side kick, what should happen is the level of your knee shouldn't change, okay, and it shouldn't change levels going up and down. What needs to happen is all it does is your leg turns and it comes to the front of your body. So your knee goes from in front of you over to the side of your body, but it never goes up and down changing levels when you turn into the second kick. So we're going to do this three times. You guys are going to pick up, chamber like front kick, and you're going to pivot to the side when you do that chamber like front kick. Then you're going to pivot all the way around and pull your knee to the side like a side kick. Then you're going to set it down. So that was one, now let's do two. So bring your knee up, go chamber like a front kick, chamber like a side kick, and set down. Okay, now go three, chamber like a front kick, chamber like a side kick, set down. Okay, now we're going to actually throw the kick. So remember, leg stays on the same level the whole time. Ready, hands are up, go front kick, turn, side kick, set down. Okay, ready, go two, front kick, turn, side kick. Set up. Okay, ready? Go three, front kick, turn, side kick. Set down. Okay, now moving on to our other leg, so our right leg now. Pick up like a front kick, turn, side kick, chamber. Set down. There's one, pick up like a front kick, turn, side kick, chamber. Two, last one, pick up like a front kick, turn, side kick. Set down. Okay, now actually throwing the kicks down, go front kick. Turn, side kick, set down. Okay, ready, go two, front kick, side kick. Ready, now go three, front kick, side kick. Good, those are gonna be the first kick that we work on, work on today. All right guys, so next we're gonna work on the reverse foot kick in the form. This is gonna be the first move in line two. Okay, so we're gonna break down the kick and then we're also going to break down some details that hopefully help you guys, help you guys out with this kick at home. So first thing, we're going to understand the difference between a spin and a reverse. So first thing you guys are going to do is you're going to face the right. Now, if you guys were doing a spin kick, you would look, turn behind you, do the kick, and you would land back in the same spot that you started. This is going to be a reverse. So after you guys turn, do the kick, you're not going to continue to turn. You're going to land in front of you. Okay, so you're going to face the other direction from where you started. So you guys are going to face the right. Okay, you're going to put your hands up in front of you. Now we're going to work on the beginning position of the kick. You guys are going to reverse behind you, so this is going to be over your right shoulder. You're going to turn behind you over your right shoulder, and you're going to twist your feet up until you look back at me. Okay, then you're going to pick up your right knee, chamber like you would for a side kick, then you're going to set it down in front of you. We're going to do this two more times. So you guys are going to face the right, hands are up, turn, look behind you, pick up your knee like a side kick, put it down in front. Okay, one more time. Face the right, look in front, reverse over your back shoulder, pick up, set down. Now we're going to throw the actual kick. Okay, remember a, a hook kick chamber is like a side kick. Okay, then you extend and you're missing your target. Then you're going to hook around and you're going to end like a round kick and land in front of you. So your leg is doing this half circle from here to here, then you're going to set down. So we're going to do that with the reverse step. Okay, you're going to put your hands up facing the right, turn over your right shoulder, chamber like a side kick, hook kick, land in front. Okay, then reset, reverse, Chamber, hook, land in front. One more time. Set, reverse, hook kick, land in front. Okay, that's going to be the next kick that you guys are going to drill at home. All right, next kick that we're going to work on is going to be a really important jump kick in the form. This kick is going to be in line three of your guys' form. 
So the first thing that you guys are going to do is you're going to put your right leg behind you, your left leg is going to be in front. Now for this one, we're not really going to think about a stance for the beginning of the kick, we're just going to put one leg behind us and one leg in front of us. Okay, now what's going to happen is this kick is going to be a jump out of a crescent kick. So we're going to break down the kick first, then we're going to move on to doing the full motion of the kick. So you guys are first going to think about this kick as a jump front kick, just like you would do in form two. So you're going to pick your back knee up, then you're going to switch your feet and pull the other knee up, then you're going to set down. We're going to do this three times. So ready? Put your right leg behind you, go knee, knee, then set down. One more time. Ready? Go knee, knee, then set down. Now what's going to happen is your leg is going to come up and it's going to, you're going to bring your knee to the inside. Okay, after you bring your knee to the inside, you're going to circle out, then you're going to set down. So the motion will be when you bring up your second knee, instead of coming straight up in front of you, you're going to bring it up to the inside, to the side, then you're going to kick out, then set it down. So we're going to break down the kick one more time, then move on to the full motion. You're going to go knee, switch your knees and bring it to the inside. Knee, then set down. Okay, two more. Knee in front, knee to the inside. Set down. Knee in front, knee to the inside. Set down. Now we're going to throw the actual kick. It's going to come from the inside, go to the outside, and it's going to sit down in front of you. So you're going to go knee, jump inside, out and crescent kick, land in front of you. Okay, so you're switching your knees and kicking. Bring up your back knee, switch, out and crescent. Land in front. One more time. Back knee up, switch and kick. Good, that's going to be the jump kick that you guys are going to work on. Alright, so next we're going to be working on our hand techniques for the form. First one is, Right? We're going to reach across our body this way, we're going to step opposite foot. So I'm going to block my left hand, step to my right hand, go double outer front block across my body. We've been working on this for a couple weeks, so we're only just going to practice it once or twice on each side. So we're going to go parallel stance, reach your arms, step, block. Now we're going to do other side, reach your arms this way, step, block, left foot, right hand. Now, to me, reach your arms, step, block. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're gonna work on our ridge hands. All right, this is gonna be another basic to the form, making sure that my hand and my thumb is in this way, my hand is here. So when you guys go like this, everybody go just like this. Ridge hand, making sure that your thumb is out of the way. Now you're gonna do other side, ridge hand back this way. Now this form has a couple different ridge hands in it. What I need to do is I need to make sure that my thumb is tucked and my wrist is turned to the side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chamber on bottom for my first ridge hand, and I'm going to do a ridge hand block, okay? Now other side, same thing on bottom. Th tucking my thumb in, goes on bottom, I go ridge hand, block. Now one more time on this side, chamber, go ridge hand, block. Chamber, ridge hand, block. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step, I'm gonna do a ridge hand strike. I'm going to make sure I go straight across this way, so I go out and around, and then I come up, and my target area is up here. Ready? So I'm here, everybody do it with me. Go this side, now switch your feet, close this hand, make sure you have a rich hand on the other side, and go rich hand high on that side, one more time. Ready, go rich hand high on this side. So again, the important part about our different rich hands through shims on five and shims on six is making sure my, my thumb is tucked in this way. So I should be able to do this without hitting my thumb, okay, on both sides. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be working on um, kind of our next piece of this that we haven't worked on before, which is gonna be a double knife hand low block, and then we're gonna talk about a square block. Those are gonna be our next two hand techniques that we work in here. So in my double low block, I'm gonna reach my arms straight up in the air. I'm gonna have my hands in knife hands, then I come across my body, blocking this way. With this, I wanna make sure I reach all the way up. So when you do this with me, go to reach your arms all the way up to the ceiling and down. Hands all the way up to the ceiling and down. Now we're gonna do other side. Reach your hands all the way up to the ceiling and down. Hands all the way up to the ceiling and down. Now, again, last one is that we're gonna work on today is gonna to be our square block. So, square block is, one hand comes across my body this way and is preparing to do an outer forearm block this way, okay? My other hand is starting by my side and it's prepared to do a high block. So if I was just doing one hand this way, this is an outer forearm block, 
This is a high block, but I'm doing it at the same time. So this hand comes here, this hand comes here, and then what I do is I go this direction. Now I'm gonna chamber on the other side, make sure that this hand goes up and this hand goes out, and square block on this side. So this hand by my side, high block, this hand is our four block. Other side, square block. Other side, square block. Other side, square block. Just like that. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to work on all of those basic hand techniques, make sure you're practicing them, and then get ready, because next we're gonna do all four lines of the form. All right, we're gonna be working on shim song number five. We're gonna go through all four lines of this form. Um, so please make sure you guys follow along at home. First, I'm gonna be explaining each line, and then we're gonna see if you guys can follow along by just a count, okay? So, face front, retreat it. Yeah. Jumbi. Now reach your arms. All right, now ready, and go double out of front kick. Front kick, side kick. Now go rich hand block. Now step together, go rich hand punch. Now reset for line number one. All right, we're gonna see if everybody can follow along just by count. Ready and reach, go one, two, three, four, set five, and six. All right, now moving on to line number two. Go ahead and reset, guys. Get ready to follow along. Now go set, reverse hook kick. Jump side kick. Reverse palm heel. Punch with your front hand. Back hand punch. Upset knife hand. Excellent. All right, now reset. Now we're gonna see if you guys can follow along just by count. Ready? Go one. Two, three, step four, five, six. All right, now we're going to relax for a second. We're going to now move on to line number three. Get ready, reach your arms, and go one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, let's go back. Let's do that again. Okay, this time I'm going to say the moves, and then we'll count them one more time. All right, ready? Reach, go double hand block. Front kick. Side kick. Double knife hand low block. Jump our crest kick. Step punch. Punch. Reach hand and knife hand. All right, we'll do that line one more time. Ready? Reach, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Excellent, all right, now relax. We're gonna move on to form number four, incorporating our square block. So turn, and go square block. Spin outer crescent kick. Step up side kick. Now go punch, punch, upset hammer fist. And rocks. Now I want to see if you guys can work with us doing just the count. Ready? First move is square block. Go one, two, Three, four, five, and six. And go to relax. 